Hey guys, I'm Pastor Joe. I have a short devotional for you. So if you have time to get into a place, a spirit of quieting yourself, get your Bible out, Matthew chapter 21. I'll lead you in a short devotional. Uh, a, a, just a special blessing on those of you with kids. I think in these times, getting away for a minute just to listen to a quick devotional is hard. And then another special blessing on anybody that's single, living at home right now. God bless you. But if you turn to the scriptures, um, I'm in Matthew chapter 21. This Friday, or this Sunday coming up, excuse me, is um, Palm Sunday. And so I want to lead you into a moment preparing our hearts uh, to listen to the scripture. Matthew 21 says that as they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there uh, with her colt by, by her, untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what the spirit said through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see your king comes to you gentle, riding on a donkey on the colt, full of a donkey, the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt to the place and laid their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. And then verse 8, this is like the party scene, uh, Jesus arise, uh, arriving in Jerusalem. A large crowd spread their cloaks on the road. While they had cut branches and trees and spread them on the roads, crowds went ahead of him. Ahead of him. And those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And imagine this scene erupting where this prophecy is being fulfilled. The king of the Jews is arriving in Jerusalem and people are partying in the streets. I saw a clip on, uh, I think it was Facebook, of someone posted this week of like this shift change happening in a hospital where nurses coming out and nurses going in. And there's all these people lined up with like big signs saying thank you. There's people flashing their lights and honking the horns. And it's just like a party scene. And I think about that scene and people are like celebrating the ones who are in a sense saving us in this virus season, in this pandemic. Um, and I, I wonder if the scene was something like that, this modern to ancient comparison where people are partying in the streets because the king of the Jews is coming and they think Jesus is gonna save them. There's a lot of historical background here. Jesus is gonna save them from the Roman oppression. And then he doesn't end up doing that, at least in the way that they thought he was going to do. And next week, after this Sunday, will bring us into Holy Week where things spiral down for Jesus, where he is arrested, he's betrayed, he's flogged, and he is beaten, and he is on Good Friday, hung on a cross and left to die. And I think about like in the weeks that we've been through with this pandemic, there's been crazy amounts, I imagine, of highs and lows of, of unexpected times. And then some good news comes out and high highs of maybe like finding toilet paper in the grocery store or whatever it is for you and your life. There's been, at least for me, high highs and low lows. And I pray that um, you know that what happens in, in two weeks will be Easter Sunday will be the Resurrection Sunday, and we as Christians know the end. While there's things spiraling downward and while there's people that maybe you know that have the virus, I know I, I have a friend who has it, a nurse um, who was serving and testing people, he got the virus and he's on a ventilator and he's in a pretty dark place right now, waiting and hoping and we're praying for him that he gets better. But as things spiral in our lives, as things are not going to plan, I pray that you know the end, that in the end, Jesus raises from the dead. He is resurrected and that's the end. Even if we get sick, even if we die, Jesus is the first of those who are raised from the dead. And that's our great hope, that Easter Sunday is coming as a reminder that he will lift us up. He will lift us even out of the grave and out of death. So I pray that this word finds you encouraged. The Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you and lift his countenance upon you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Peace.